the Internet can be an effective and convenient tool for people to come together to share information. Aviation pollution and its effects on public health have only really come into the spotlight in recent years. Airlines, there's helicopters, there's military jets. Alessio Bergio moved to the U.S. from Italy to be with his wife, but was stunned by the amount of airplane traffic near his home in Boston and the lack of information surrounding it. Sometimes, at least where we are, like two or three hundred planes a day, and they burn in kerosene. He formed a Facebook group online last May, hoping to find some solutions, and was surprised by how many others felt the same way. My goal was to have a place where people could share information or resources or experiences. Through keyword searches, he found my November story on noise concerns coming from residents near Hill Air Force Base. And this is ongoing day after day after day, hour after hour. Jeff A., founder of the local group Safe Skies Utah, told me the group struggles with being repeatedly ignored by the base and city council concerning low-flying F-35 jets and the effects they have. We just realized two days ago that they're going to bring two F-35 in Massachusetts, too. From the discovery online, the two groups now can connect and share information they may not have otherwise known about.